So now let me hit the publish button here. So let me hit the publish button. So obviously if you are using this, uh, if you are hitting this publish button, you have to log in here. So you have to log in for your company's or organization email address and then hit on publish. So once you click on publish, it will ask you to save the changes first. Let me click on save. Once the Power BI report has been saved, then it will start publishing it to the Power BI service. So once you get this tab, a pop-up window where it will ask you that, where do you want to save this? By default, I have only one workspace and that workspace is my workspace, my workspace. Uh, if you have different workspaces, you may see all that. Now, what is workspace? We will see about that. But now let me keep it default my workspace and click on select. So it will take few seconds to publish this report to your Power BI service. And in Power BI service, just remember we have our name called Power BI report 2. So our report name is 2 and you can open it from here or you can just go to your account here and click on Power BI service or you can click on view account or you can go to powerbi.com and log in with this email address. You will be able to see your report there also. Now let me click on view account. Once you click on view account, you will be directed to the Power BI service. Now actually I have enabled the new uh, SaaS product of Microsoft that is Fabric but no worries. I will be using Power BI service only. Yeah, once I click on uh, publish, you are into your Power BI service. Now this window or this UI is all about Power BI service. So let me go back to the workspace here. Yeah, so just try to understand. Uh, just now we have published it at 650. Once you publish a report from your Power BI desktop, you will get two things. One is data set and other is report. So don't look at other uh, reports and dashboards guys. We will talk about that in detail later on. But now just look at these two things. So whenever you publish a report into your Power BI service, you get a data set and you get a report separately. Now you can see the same name. You can see the symbol here. This is report. This is data set. Now what do you mean by report? So let me click on this report and here you can see your entire report with all your visuals and all your pages. So let me show you. Yeah, this is what exactly we were working on. So I have not arranged it in the correct order, but this is just for a practice. You got a scroller and everything you can see it here. You can see region is there, state is there. All the pages are here. You can see that. Now you might ask me that, okay, I can see everything. But this visual or this UI is not same as I have seen in the Power BI desktop. Yeah, it is not same because in this I can see only this much. Let me show you. I can see only this much, only till filter. I cannot see this visual data pane. I cannot see any ribbon here. Yeah, but if you ask me, can I do some changes here? Can I move this? Can I rearrange this? Can I add some more visual? Can I remove it? Yes, you can do all that in your report in Power BI service by just hitting on this edit button. So just click on this edit button and now you get a same UI. You can see visualization is there, data is there, filter pane is there and you can start reordering all your visuals. You can remove it, you can uh, add it, you can delete it. Let me delete this. You can see I can do all the changes. Now, let me quickly go through a few of the things. For example, you might say me that, hey, can you do a DAX on top of this? So here, 
if you remember in the orders table you, if you click on this three dots you will get few options let me show in the power bi desktop i'll just click on it i get so many options you can see you got a new major new column quick major and even you got a, a data view and the model view but if you ask me can you show me the model view in power bi service i cannot do that for you because power bi service won't allow you to do a dax and won't allow you to do the data model and power query in power bi service yes obviously it is not available now but they are making it in the pre now it is in the preview maybe in future maybe in few months you can use all the dax you can use the data model power query online you can do that online you may get that you can see here open data model even you can uh, it has already integrated it but for now we don't go in deep on the data modeling part on the power bi service now i want to explain you about the power bi service now so this is all about the visualization and all those things now let me save this so you may get save button here you can click on this save report and your report whatever the changes we have done that will be saved now let me go back again let me go back to the workspace once i am in the workspace you can see this is this was our report just now we have edited it you can see that now when i click on the data set now you might ask like once i publish it i am getting two things report is all the pages all the reports we have done when i click on data set you can see you got only the tables from your data set you can see you got a orders table and you got your returns table and in the orders table also you can see whatever majors we have calculated you can see all that majors here now where is your visualization where is the report yeah whatever report i have created from this data set is in the report view here you can see here come to workspace so whatever the report i have created that is here i have created this report from this data set so that is all about the data set now you can do one thing here in power bi service there is one ai tool where you can create a entire report by ai for example here you get an option to create a report or visualize the data by this data set so you get an option hey i will create a report from the scratch you can do that or i'll just click on auto create so that your report or your visualization will be done by using this data set so let me click on auto create and wait for a second once you click on auto report yeah here you can see power bi beautifully created a one single page report for you uh, so obviously this is not uh, so meaningful you have not pulled out many insights from yet so we have done a lot on that uh, but they have given you a basic chart yes you can save this as a report you can just click on this save and you can give a good name for that you can just say that this was created by auto report in auto report in service something like that okay you can give any good name so let me give it auto report in service and your report has been saved now if i come back if i go back now uh, let me show you my workspace and now you look at only these things okay auto report in service is the report what you have created just now and we have one more report called power bi report 2 and we had one data set also okay now let us proceed further to create a dashboard now what is dashboard you will get to see that in a next video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this keep learning